What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video here today on Edgewater. Today we're going to continue some planting. Um, we are going to have to fill our air seeder quick and then we'll go ahead and get started on seeding field 5. But we have to fix our corn planter once again. Before we can do that, uh, let's see here. Okay, he's on that pass there. Nope. Still clipped the tree. So, um, as said in the last video, um, I did finish up Roger field 29. That. I'll get it done. We are all done there. And we actually had barely enough fertilizer to finish. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to get the air seeder filled back up. Uh, I do have our Degelman roller sitting over there at field 28. He is done with the sunflower ground so we're going to move on to the wheat ground next with it right. okay we are good on seed so we'll pull this truck out of the way over to the fertilizer grab this truck Okay, let's quick shut this off. Okay, so we got him filled up and ready to rock and roll. We are going to go ahead, jump in here. And we're going to get started in field five here. And this is going to be our last wheat field, finally. Hey boss, all done with this job. Over. Okay, so this guy needs to be topped back off. He is. Okay, he's over there. So we'll run this guy over. And we'll go ahead and fill up the corn planter here. Ooh. Come on. Get a grip. Get turning. He is getting close to done. Not quite done yet, but we're getting there. Can't do that. Alright. Alright. 
Okay, we get that filled up. There, so we're just gonna pull this up ahead, out of the way. Leave that guy there. And I did get our tender filled back up. We're on to the back half of our Adams trailer, so we're starting to get it emptied. Get him on his way, and we can get on our way as well. So he'll have enough now to finish up this field, and then we'll see if it'll uh, be able to finish off that little southwest section or not. Okay, he doesn't have much left up here, so that is a good thing. And I just realized that I pulled up in a very stupid spot here. much. Perfect. Okay, so we'll get this guy rolling again. Okay, I gotta figure out where he's going here now. So I think what we'll do is we'll just back him up. I think he's going right over here. So, in that case, we gotta move these guys. Again. Okay. Him there. Pull this guy up next to him. Come on. Let's go. Move it. Today. Come on. Okay. Now we can get this guy on his way. Roger that. I'll get it done. Yeah, he's gonna clean up that little bit there. Alright. We'll just make sure this guy gets rolling on his way.
you should be good now. So now we can go back to this guy and we can continue rolling here. This is definitely I think this is actually our largest no it's definitely one of our larger fields we do own some oh boy what's your dysfunction now here oh, you're just turning too sharp got it and he should go down this row here yep perfect Yeah, this is definitely one of our larger fields. Most of them are split into pieces, whereas this one is one large chunk. We are going to stop right here, and we're going to set up a course play course for this field, so that way we have it or in the future, and this is going to take us a minute. That's nice to see. <clears throat> okay. Sorry. <laughs> Checking out a Snapchat story while I'm waiting. One of my buddies has his truck back on the road. Back to Holland. <clears throat> and as you guys are seeing this video, hopefully that is what I am doing as well. Um, this is Thursday's video. I'm recording it here Wednesday. I'm recording a bunch of videos while I'm home today. Because uh can't really work. We uh, worked yesterday for a while and... Cleaned up some snow at uh, the farm, and then we went to our bin site, and we ended up having to dig our way there, uh, halfway down the gravel road to our bin site. It was completely blown over and shut, so we, uh, me and my coworker had to dig our way into the bin site and then clean it out, and then uh, we attempted to go to where our uh, shop is that we work on our equipment and he went uh, down the gravel road ahead of me with the pickup and trailer hauling the bobcat and I was in the tractor and I ended up having to pull the pickup out and then dig a spot for the uh, for him to back out onto the highway and turn around because we couldn't even get down the road. And uh, my boss called last night to let me know that we uh, weren't going to work today because we had to wait for the county to clear our roads. So hopefully they get that done today uh, like they said they were. And then... Thursday we will be back to trucking and if we are it sounds like me and the boss's son are going to be on uh, task of hauling corn out we got little little less than half of a bin left of corn to empty so 
me and him will probably work on getting the rest of that hauled out to the ethanol plant while the uh, boss and our other guy haul sunflowers from the sounds of it. We have a lot of that to haul out. We got, what do we have, five full 30,000 bushel bins of uh, sunflowers. So, got a lot of sunflowers to haul, and we got two bins yet with uh, wheat in them as well. So we still got a lot of grain to haul. And we still got to, at some point, get into our shop so we can fix the corn planter and get that set up and ready to roll this coming up spring. We got to replace all the packing wheels, half the trash, op uh, half the trash rippers, all of the discs need to be replaced. And then they have a uh, fertilizer, they have fertilizer rows on it too. And we have to take all 24 of those off. And I believe February John Deere should be coming with our, um, that's not going to work. All right. Well, this is a just in case anyways. So, but yeah, they are coming to put a spreader bar on instead of the di fertilizer discs because we have um, a lot of rocky uneven ground and I wasn't working there this spring but they said that this or here this year oh, come on get off the fence uh, this year they had a lot of problems with it because of rocks and everything so um, because there was no give in it so anytime you would come to a rock, you had to lift the planter up. And the boss man does not want to do that anymore. Especially because there's a lot of broken fertilizer units on that planter. Broken, and there's even a few that are completely bent sideways. So he wants to change that out and... That was the option that they had to go with. Uh, we run a Montag dry fertilizer cart behind our corn planter. And they had uh, John Deere do some digging for them and found that Montag makes. Hey, boss. All done with this job. A, Over. Uh, Montag actually makes a spreader bar for our planner. So they are looking into it and they're ordering all of the pieces that we are going to need to get that bar put on. So that's going to be one of our big projects come when it comes in, I guess I should say. So, we've already gone through and replaced all of the discs on our air seeder. So that thing is all done and ready. Um, aside from a couple little things, I think the boss man's got a tire on it that's got to get taken in and fixed or replaced. Whatever he decides. And I know there is a spring. Um, and for anybody that runs John Deere... Air seeder. We run a uh, 1890 with a 1910 cart, and on the cart, on your front wheels where they swivel, there are springs. And somehow, I'm not sure how, but somehow, one of those springs managed to break. So, uh, believe that we're going to have John Deere come out and fix that. And there's a cylinder 
one of the hydraulic cylinders on the drill that uh, is leaking pretty bad so we're gonna have to have them come out and fix that as well bunch of maintenance but it's got to be done those machines go through a lot of acres a year so I mean, my boss runs just shy of 10,000 acres at the moment he is talking about uh, dropping back some acres mainly because of some of the places that some of the fields are in yeah, they're they're tired of farming in those areas and they want to get away from it so I don't blame him though like one of our areas is almost a two-hour drive so it is not a fun area to farm I'll tell you that a lot of side hills a lot of rock when we uh, seeded winter wheat in that area this fall there's about Oh, it's like, I don't know, 8 acres shy of 1,100 acres or something like that um, that we seeded out there. And it uh, had a lot of rocks and pretty much the entire week that we were out there uh, while the boss man seeded, I sat going all over with our bobcat and rock bucket picking rock and I mean I it was constant rock constant rock it was just non-stop rocks and uh, I got quite a few cleaned up and then when I wasn't picking rock I was either taking care of directing the uh, elevator guys on where they needed to unload because we just had the elevator bring us our seed and fertilizer and breaker uh, breaker I'm all not, done so appreciate the comeback good buddy we had them do that so that way we could just go rather than us having to truck it and kept it it kept things busy that's that is for sure and uh yeah, we had that, and then I was also filling the boss man um, whenever he needed seed or fertilizer or anything like that. So it was definitely a busy time, very busy. We even had uh, my boss's son out there. He was. Uh, Sprain at the same time, so it was a very, very busy time in that area. Let's see if we can do this without clipping a tree, hopefully. Perfect. So our corn planter is done with field 31 there. So we are going to we're getting away from the edge here. We are going to finish off this first headland and then I'll go ahead and we'll jump over and get him moving on the next field. There's gonna be a lot of skips, but that's alright. I'm not worried about these corners and what not. This tractor's definitely drinking through death fluid though. That is for sure. I think what we're gonna attempt to do here in this episode is you know we'll get we're gonna go move that corn planter over to the next field.
And then we're going to go around the field one more time. And then when we come back up, we'll, uh, we'll plant this little field here, or this little section here that we got up here, up on top here. We'll go ahead and just get it done. All right, let's go ahead. Let's get this guy moved on to the next one. So that way we can just keep rolling. And actually, he's not even done. Missed a big old spot right here. This is like one planter pass right here. <laughs> so we'll go ahead and clean this up. And then we'll get it moved. Perfect. So now we're going to go down to this little guy down here. On the uh, south side of this field here. Definitely gonna upgrade planters this next spring as well if we can. Maybe uh, look at getting a bit bigger and go with a DB120 or something. We'll see. Got to see what the crops do and see what the yields look like. See what uh, the market is come this winter. Winter and spring, I guess. That'll be kind of our main project this winter. And before we start planting. Which reminds me, I was going to look. Okay, so we can plant winter wheat. Which is probably what we're going to do. So this shouldn't take this guy long at all in this field here. And then we got our next one right next to it, so. Alright. Okay. Generate. <laughs> yeah, definitely not going to take long at all. Almost pointless, but at the same time. So 31 south west. And we'll start him at the first waypoint. 10 4, I'm on it. Perfect. Okay, what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and do our second headland pass here. And then we'll come back up and take care of that little chunk up there. It's kind of neat with this uh, CB radio mod. Um, I got it off of someone's itch.io page. I don't remember exactly who though. I was just kind of going through downloading a bunch of stuff, so I can't honestly remember <laughs> which page I got it from, but it was definitely one on there. I think if I remember correctly, all I did was just go and uh, browsed by the games and just went browsing through the Farm Sim 22 mods and just went to people's pages and downloaded stuff.
leave just a little spot up here, but that's okay. Yeah, we're gonna leave just a little bit on the side of the planter. It's a small little strip. that one. Oh. oh wow it did. That's a surprise. I did not think that we were going to make that turn without clipping the vents. But we managed to. So that is good. I got this job covered. You know, you've got the job covered, all right. Hey, boss. All done with this job. Over. Appreciate the comeback, good buddy. All right. Where are we trying to go here? Trying to go down this pass, I'm assuming. Roger that. I'll get it done. Okay, let's see if he'll uh, manage there. Like that field would make a good hay field, better than a crop field. So now, if we do um, get into cattle, um, I know a lot of these littler fields that we currently have and will have. Between all of the little cutoff pieces, like where our corn planter currently is, that field would make a good hay field. Um, stuff like that, you know, we can turn into hay fields. So then we will have plenty of hay ground. Be able to put up plenty of hay for our cattle. Just wanted to let you know I'm done with the job. Over. Perfect. Combat, thing buddy. is done already. Holy smokes. It did not take him long whatsoever. Let's go double check make sure that it is. Okay, it is actually done. Perfect. So then we'll run it over here into the next field where he is going to be for a little while. Field 30 over here is a uh, fairly large field, so he'll definitely be on that one for a little while here. So we're going to start him right about here. Make sure. Okay, perfect. And generate.
perfect. Um, that is only one headland course, though. That's not what I want. I've noticed that at times it, uh, does not always want to stay with two, even though that may be what it says, which is always Roger that. annoying, I'll get it done. but it is what it is, I guess. Okay, perfect. So, we've got this field fully set. And ready to roll. And then we'll go ahead and we'll finish up this field over here. Or, not field, but this section of the field. done over here. This is why we don't text and plant, apparently. Okay, we'll pick up this last little strip, and then we'll grab that little tiny piece up there. And then we are set and ready to finish up this field. Get the big center section of it done.
Perfect. Okay. Probably start over here where we've already got our line lined up. almost used half of our fertilizer just going around this twice and doing the top part oh, and then since we're here we'll pick this up Good to see you, boss. All right. What? That's interesting. I didn't know it. Okay. So this guy is going to need fertilizer and seed again soon as well. What do we have here? 43. Okay, well, what I'm going to do... Between now and the next episode is I'm going to plant uh, most of this field here and get it to where we are pretty much at the end. And then we'll, uh, tomorrow we'll get this finished up and then we'll be done with a majority of our planting, actually. Uh, all that we'll have left is our soybeans and our sorghum. So we'll have... Probably course play running fields two and four with the corn planter getting our beans done and then we'll plant sorghum or actually what we'll do we'll put this guy on course play let this thing run our sorghum and we'll run the uh, Kinsey planter and do our soybeans so all right I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna keep working get this going and uh, I'm going to get this video uploaded for you guys. Thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel and have not done so already, make sure you subscribe to see any future videos. And uh, if you're enjoying this series and have not done so already, make sure you check out the other videos in this series. And uh, we'll see you all in the next video. Thank you for watching.